EDP445 has been fired from three different jobs over the last couple of weeks as a result of people exposing his employment to TikTok. He's apparently completely out of money and as a result has been evicted from a few different properties and he's now living out of a suitcase in a couple of unconventional crappy locations. However, the craziest update in the EDP445 tragedy is that only three weeks ago, according to one of his former YouTube buddies by the name of Felipe, the big man himself has actually been put behind bars. This is the... Uh Henderson, Nevada Detention Center, inmate Brian Moreland, would like to receive the call. And I said, I said yes. Things have gotten so bad for EDP that right now as we speak, he's applying to have his name legally changed. However, in a world of tit for tat where you unavoidably reap what you sow, it's hard to say that this punishment is undeserving. And in this video, you'll see how bad things can truly become if you plant weeds in your garden as opposed to flowers. To what extent should a person's life be ruined for the mistakes made in their own past? At what point, if ever, should EDP 445 be forgiven for his own foolish decisions? Does EDP 445's work completed prior to his cancellation hold any residual value, or was it rendered completely and utterly useless from the second he showed up to that cursed Bakersfield motel? We asked this last question because prior to the 18th of April 2021, things were actually going reasonably well for EDP 445. If you look at his social blade graph, you'll see that he gained 520,000 subscribers over the course of two months in April and May of 2020. People loved him because he was one of the last few YouTubers who had absolutely no filter. He was unconcerned about ad revenue and therefore swore like a trooper while tackling some of the most crass yet hilarious topics. EDP 445's unconventional mind was always spoken honestly, so he stood out as unique. It's not surprising either. In a world where everyone else online is always walking on eggshells, trying not to offend anyone, EDP 445's brash attitude and unapologetic approach to life was somewhat refreshing for those who saw the world in a similar way. However, of course, such an approach wasn't without controversy. In 2017, as a result of his unconventional content, he'd be banned from YouTube for a period of two weeks, while Twitter was a little harsher, placing a ban on his main EDP445 account permanently. Additionally, after hitting 1 million subscribers in early 2020, YouTube refused to send EDP a gold play button, stating that the channel didn't match their eligibility criteria. Because according to them, my channel doesn't match the criteria. And I'm like, my channel has zero community guideline strikes. It has zero copyright strikes. EDP would gain support from other large YouTubers such as some ordinary gamers who stated that the refusal was stupid. YouTube, can you just give this dude his play button? If he doesn't get his play button, I'm gonna buy him his play button. While EDP was also made a custom YouTube play button by a fan of the channel, displaying the love and support he had from the community at the time. However, perhaps YouTube and Twitter were able to see something objective objectively that those who loved and supported him could not. They might have seen that a man with such an unfiltered mind may have also been hiding some dirty skeletons in the closet and correct is what they would eventually be. On the 18th of April 2021, EDP 445 was caught in 4K on his way to pick up a cupcake. The topic was covered by almost everyone in the commentary community. I'm sure by now many of you have at least heard of the EDP 445 situation. Creators who supported him in the past such as some ordinary gamers would upload a video titled EDP 445 needs to be arrested immediately. Why has EDP been dropping hard? Because EDP is an individual that actually got Chris Hansen. And after it was revealed that a similar situation had occurred as many as eight times prior, many considered EDP unforgivable and his life would subsequently descend into a state of chaos, what you might call the beginning of the end. In the seven days following the expose, EDP445 would lose 200,000 subscribers, almost 10% of his entire count. However, how many followers he lost initially didn't actually matter, because seven days later, his remaining 2 million subscribers would disappear entirely after YouTube decided to ban his account altogether. At the time of his banning, EDP was exactly 30 years old, and had been creating content since 2010 when he was 19 years old. So the 179 million views deleted in the process meant that his entire portfolio of work completed in his 20s, 10 plus years worth of labor was wiped out quite literally overnight. One mistake was all it took for YouTube to decide that EDP 445 no longer deserved either his celebrity status or any kind of record relating to any of his work completed in the past. Another method that EDP had for earning an online income was Cameo. You could order a personalized video and get EDP to say anything you instructed him to for the low price of $44. However, following the infamous cupcake event, Cameo would be contacted by numerous individuals who would receive 
responses along the lines of, hey there, thank you for reaching out. Our team is aware of the allegations and are actively investigating this. Thank you for bringing it to our attention, kindly Melita. Less than a week later, EDP 445's cameo account was deleted. Another income stream had gone up in smoke. EDP 445 then attempted to switch to Facebook. However, after gaining 6,000 followers, he'd be banned from the platform. It was the same story over on Instagram. His main account was terminated, at which point EDP was likely coming to terms with the harsh reality of his cancellation. However, just before his Facebook was deleted, he'd make one final interesting announcement. He planned on making his own website to which he would continue posting videos. EDP 445 announced over on Facebook that he will be making his grand return to the internet with his own website to return to his old video type, I guess. Just wanna let you guys know, man, EDP445.com. Um, it's coming soon, been, been about like a week, maybe two weeks from now. EDP445 seemingly got to the point of fully building the website as discussed by Tipster here on YouTube. It still says coming soon, still says today's date. It does look like EDP is actually serious about this whole launching a website thing. However, after an apparent falling out with his website developer, as mentioned in a Reddit comment, the launch seemed to fail. Update, the website is now returning an error 500. So it looks like he's been having a little bit of trouble launching the site, hasn't been working so well for him. And to this day, the page remains as an unlaunched inactive website. In spite of how much of a scumbag EDP 445 truly was, you have to give him credit for sheer determination because he then began to upload videos on another third party website called 3Speak TV, where his account would be met with the same fate. It was banned. He wrote, for some reason, my channel was deleted. I don't have a clue what's going on. I didn't violate any guideline. Can you please tell me what's going on? EDP. After this ban, it seemed as though EDP 445 445 was slowly getting the message from each and every website. His career on the internet was finished. However, the internet wasn't finished with ending his career. Rich from Review Tech USA would state that he might be able to get a job working somewhere like Starbucks. However, it was only going to be so long before the trolls would come and inform them of his past. But I don't even know if you could get a damn job at Starbucks and keep it because you know the trolls are going to come after you and say, oh yeah, that guy you just hired, I wouldn't keep him employed. You'd probably lose a job at that coffee shop too real quick. Rich would be correct in this statement. EDP 445 moved from Bakersfield, California to Henderson, Nevada following the expose, where it seemed as though he managed to land a job as a Lyft driver in October 2021. However, this job would be fairly short-lived, as a video posted to TikTok by a user called Lennon Jimenez would expose EDP 445's Lyft profile. Bro went from wanting cupcakes to driving for Lyft. And his position as a driver would subsequently be removed by the company. The situation would promote Reddit discussion, with with one post stating EDP as a Lyft driver, how the mighty have fallen, which received comments such as, can you take me to the grocery store? I'ma go buy some cupcakes. And I hope he doesn't get on any food delivery apps. MF would eat my fries and I'd have missing slices of pizza. However, somewhat hilariously, it was revealed shortly thereafter that EDP had in fact been driving for both Uber Eats and Grubhub, which would also both fire him after finding out about the drama. He was driving Lyft, he was driving for Grubhub and Uber Eats. And all three of those companies fired him. According to a very basic unconfirmed source, EDP also apparently applied a Chuck E. Cheese, but for obvious reasons, didn't seem to get the position. EDP 445 no longer had the ability to make money online or in real life as this revealed, unless he were to find some extremely low skill niche job where they wouldn't check his name online and where he wouldn't have to interact with any customers who might expose him to whichever company he might be working for. With so many obstacles in the way of finding even the most basic of jobs, it's hardly surprising to find out that EDP has been attempting to change his name legally. The application shown on screen states that Bryant Morland applied for a name change with the Nevada County Court on the 21st of October 2021. The strange part about this is that when you try and search the court register from the Reddit post by typing in his name, Bryant Morland, it now states that there are no results found, possibly indicating that EDP 445's name change has been successful and he's no longer known as Bryant Morland. As you can see, I did type in his name, Morland Bryant, submit. No results found. However, the problem with this, as outlined by the EDP 445 subreddit, is that he's not exactly hard to spot. This idiot thinks this will fix anything, Lameo. He will be spotted everywhere no matter his name. He should flee to Cuba or something like this. Changing his name isn't a good idea since it's gonna get leaked anyways. What good does changing a name do when you're as easily recognizable as him, lol? He needs to lose hundreds of pounds and get a hair transplant. Perhaps the goal is to have his name hidden for long enough in order to get a job, as other sources state that he's been unsurprisingly struggling with money he's broke like YouTube made him money but after having that 
he got it broke real quick. A user by the name of Master at Work, who was one of the people trying to expose EDP all the way back in 2020, stated in October that EDP had less than $3,300 cash left in his account, plus two cars and a couple of other things that he might be able to sell. The only income that he has, other than the 3300 that he has left in his bank account, is maybe the 40 grand in weapons and the two cars that he owns. However, in the two months since October, users on Reddit used his car's license plate to confirm that EDP 445 has sold one of his cars, possibly indicating that his cash stack has dwindled even further. In the same live stream during which Master at Work would discuss EDP's financial situation, it also mentioned that EDP had been evicted from his apartment complex as the property owner received numerous complaints about having him as a tenant. Call up Spur Apartments and verify for yourself. Um, EDP will no longer be living at Spur Apartments. The reason why he got evicted is because of a cons constant harassment the property owner has been getting. Since then, EDP has been living out of a suit case at various hotels. However, even then, his detractors have been going around trying to get him kicked out of wherever he happens to be staying. He's a danger to everyone in here. Okay, so I just called security. Yeah. Go ahead and let security know all I this information. I will be more than happy to yes. let them know. Thank yes. you very much. EDP's detractors have made his life such a living hell that if anything, an arrest or a short stint in prison would almost make his circumstances more comfortable. We'll preface this part by stating that there have been numerous accounts of EDP being arrested. However, they never seem to have any rock solid proof to go along with it. So take everything said in the next section with a grain of salt. In late October, a YouTuber by the name of Matt Simon seemed confident that EDP had been arrested, yet provided no evidence or reason for the arrest. EDP has been arrested. Today is October 25th. It is 11.30 at night, and EDP has been arrested today. And he was actually arrested today. He, 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 oh, but oh, was. I don't know what he was arrested for. This claim clearly lacks credibility. People in the comments requested evidence to which there seems to be none. However, a former friend of EDP 445 by the name of Felipe claims to have some stronger evidence pertaining to the potential arrest of EDP 445. Less than a month ago, on the 3rd of December 2021, he'd upload a video titled, Is EDP 445 in Jail? In this video, Felipe explained that while out having dinner, he'd get a call from a private number stating that it was EDP 445 who was being held at the Henderson, Nevada Detention Center. So the third time I picked up, um, I was like, you know, hello? And it said, uh, this is uh, the Henderson, Nevada uh, Detention Center inmate for for Brian Moreland. Would you like to receive the, the call? And I like hung up, you know, and then called again. And the same the same thing happened, you know, would you like to receive a call? So I, pre I said yes, because I was like, you know, I was just curious to see like, holy sh like he got arrested, like, like, Wow, you know? The issue is the only evidence that he's able to provide is for no caller ID calls on his iPhone, which isn't exactly rock solid evidence to say the least, and Felipe's character is suspect at best. He only gets views when he talks about EDP 445, and without EDP on the internet to defend himself, anyone can say anything. Additionally, if EDP did successfully change his name in October or November, as mentioned previously, this would prove the story to be fake, as the guy states that it was Bryant Morland on the other end of the phone. One comment stated, looked up every inmate record in Clark County, which is where Henderson is, Kern County, which is where Bakersfield is, and Manatee County, which is where Bradenton, Florida is, which said that he was connected to online. No Bryant Moreland is in any of those prisons. In the end, it doesn't really matter whether or not he's in actual prison, as it's safe to say that EDP is a man who made a mistake so bad that even outside of concrete prison walls, he barely has a drop of freedom.